Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you as always for tuning back in. Let's do another pick a card reading today. And today folks, I want to focus on money and prosperity and our financial matters. So I am going to do four readings. I'm going to do a three by fives or five by threes. And I am gonna use only one deck. I'm gonna reuse it at every time. And this is Titania's fortune cards. So the four stones, which correspond to the four readings that we're doing today are, the first one is Brandberg. This is a purplish kind of stone. Um, the next one is the Lapis Lazuli stone, a beautiful blue, um, the Cat's Eye stone, and finally the uh, Opalite stone. So as always, the timestamps are in the description box. By all means, if you want to pause the video to focus on uh, the money matter that you're focused on and also on the reading that you want to select uh, for this time, by all means, do that. And I will see you in your reading. Okay, Brandberg Group, let's go ahead and do a reading for you about what's ahead for you financially with money matters. My deck is shuffled between readings. Let's just go ahead and deal out your five by three. Okay, Brandberg Group, here we are with your three by five for your financial affairs. And I have to say, Brandberg, that we are seeing a few challenges here. I'm suspecting that you're gonna to need to make some pretty serious changes in order to see matters improve. We do see the fish card in your reading, and so this is a card of money, so it is a good confirmation. Um, and also what stands out to me is the fox at the very top of your reading as the first card. The fox is associated with jobs, and on top of that we have the lily in your reading, which is also a career card. So it seems to me like right, just from a general overview, Bradberg Group, that the job, the work that you do, um, you know, your activity that brings uh, income is going to be the focus for you to improve your financial affairs. So I like to start reading the corner cards. We have the fox and bear. This is a beautiful pair for work because it points to seniority, management and growth. It is possible, Brandberg, that if you are looking to improve your financial profile, you might want to seek a promotion. You might want to seek a job that gives you more responsibility so that you can make more money. It seems that that's going to be a focus for you. On the other set of corner cards, we have the heart and mountain. And this uh, pair, Brandberg, suggests that you might want to also pursue things that you love. Now, the thing about the mountain is that it's a bit of a cold card. It brings distance and separation. And with the heart, I feel that you could be possibly putting some obstacles on yourself uh, with regards to what you want to do. You could be blocking yourself or preventing yourself from, you know, flowing a little bit more uh, with work. I have to say, Brandberg, that when it comes to prosperity, uh, the heart and mountain might ask you to uh, be more accepting of uh, the good that could be coming to you. Um, you want to be open to receive and the mountain can be a bit of a blockage card and uh, this could be something that you might want to focus on spiritually, internally in order to attract more money into your life. Another way we can read these cards, uh, Brandberg Group, is that the mountain brings into the picture a foreign location or a different place or maybe another city, and possibly you could be pursuing your good in a different place. I have to say that the idea of a move or such changes is possible through the road and mountain. There aren't many cards that point to travel, but these two could possibly bring this into the picture. And another possibility comes through the bear and mountain. The bear and mountain is a specific combination uh, in my dictionary that points to someone who is based abroad. So it's possible that when we tie up these cards together, uh, the four corner cards together, we could be looking at uh, prospects in a different place uh, for you, Bradberg Group, or possibly someone abroad who could uh, come into the picture to help you with your financial matters. Um, the bird is in the middle of your portrait and your extended portrait, and the bird is often associated with uh, tension and anxiety. And it can also point to conversations and negotiations, and that will probably be the case in some combinations. But I have to note for you, Brandberg Group, that there are a few challenging cards around the bird. We have the snake, the clouds, and uh, the mouse here. 
So I feel that what you could be uh, going through is a phase of overspending, uh, a phase where your money is not really under good control. Um, it might be a good time to avoid things like unnecessary expenses, you know, little, um, little things that you spend here and there, really becoming uh, aware about what you spend where so that you can tighten the picture a little bit and iron out this kind of... Um, uh, I'm getting a sense of a, a diffuse, you know, focus on your money. You want to bring it more into focus and to become more aware about where your money is going. So I'm getting a very practical uh, kind of sense about your reading. I feel that the bird really helps bring that out. Um, even though there could be some, you know, spiritual element at play here, like an inner blockage or some kind of... Um, uh, you know, um, the opposite of openness, right? There is some kind of refusal. So you want to release that and smooth that out and allow yourself to receive some good. But otherwise, because of the job element and the bird uh, in the middle, I feel that it is really about, you know, sitting down, tightening up the financial picture for you and working on your disciplines. Um, the fox is also very good with discipline. It has to do with routine and, you know, consistently doing things, whether it's on the job or elsewhere in your life. So keep that in mind. Um, this is going to uh, be really important to change around the picture for you. So with this said, let's get into the rows and columns and see how we work through these challenges for you, Brandbird. We've got the fox, mouse, clouds, road, and uh, mountain. So obviously this is a challenging line. We have the mouse in here. Uh, the mouse is typically about loss, especially when it comes to practical and material affairs. The clouds can also point to expenses, especially next to the fish. And since we're asking about money as well, the road and mountain can point to changes and partings and moves. Now, it's possible that you are going through changes and moves or other kinds of restructurings in your life that cause you to spend. But what I feel, Brandberg Group, is that you really want to review where your money is going. Uh, what do you do with your money? You know, where does it go? Um, what do you spend it on? Do you do things like impulse purchases and things like that? You know, do you want to maybe look at that to see, uh, you know, what, how you can, you can straighten that out? I also think because of the road and mountain that, um, you might want to have a better picture about where you want to go with your money. Um, what is the long-term vision that you have for yourself? And you will need to work backwards from there so that you can restructure what you're doing now. I also think that you want to move away from anything related to troublesome people, negative influences in your environment, uh, possibly past chapters or, you know, people, places that are not contributing to your health in this regard, uh, you might want to make some changes. It's possible, Brandberg Group, that the changes we're looking at are a bit deeper um, than just day-to-day -day things, and I really feel that could be coming through the column here. So we've got the road, which is a card of change, and the lily and snake. The lily is about your career in general, your general path, and certainly with the road, this can come into the picture. However, with the snake, there can be uh, a need to make a deeper change with regards to where you're heading in your career, uh, Brandberg, because this can affect your long-term security and your financial picture. So this can be quite um, this can be quite a big deal, Brandberg. I have to say that uh, when you're reconsidering your path as a whole where it's taking you financially and likely in other ways as well, you know, this can be a big turning point for you. But I really think that honesty is going to be needed. You're going to really need to sit down and look at this squarely if you want to see improvements. Now, moving on to the second row, we have the woman, fish, bird, lily, and a whip. I have to say that the whip really changes a lot uh, in the line and it brings this um, you know, the, the shakeup in your career. So the, the whip is a bit more aggressive. Well, it's a lot more aggressive than the snake. The snake is calm and slow. The whip is really uh, quick and, uh, and aggressive. And when we see it next to the lily, we're looking at some big changes as well. 
Um, the fish is in the line, which is about money, and it would be nice, you know, with um, these three cards in the middle. We have the woman, fish, bird, and lily, and I think that this can be some kind of job or some kind of financial arrangements or transactions, but I feel that they're not working out, Brandberg, and you'll, you're going to need to get out of them. The whip on the other side of the lily really points to that. So what could these cards be about? They can be about a job, they can be about a career path or some kind of other financial commitments or arrangements. And the bird brings into the picture the idea of transactions or income. And with the whip here, it's not really uh, working out. You're gonna need to look at this. Uh, the woman can be uh, yourself or she can be someone you deal with in this regard. Maybe she's a business partner, a customer, a, a boss. You know, it depends on how your work environment or how your income making um, source is structured. And that's going to really come down to your own specifics. But what in general, more broadly speaking, what's happening here is that a certain financial situation or a work situation is going to be changed uh, or needs to be changed and it's not really working for you. Now in the bottom row, we have um, nice messages, a lot more hopeful messages. We've got the heart and anchor and then the child, which points to a new beginning. This is going to be important for you. And then the snake and bear. So the snake and bear, I feel, is a little bit like what's going on here, you know, where we're seeing that you need to get out or make some deep changes to a certain situation. The snake and bear can point to moving away from either uh, a boss or a certain environment that you work in. Because it's associated with management, I feel it could be associated with your work. And also the corner card is the fox. So that's how we would look at the bear. And with the child and snake, it's definitely time to move into something different, uh, Brandberg Group. So this can be a challenging turning point because it's kind of deep. You know, you're gonna need to think uh, hard about where this is heading and you're going to need to make changes accordingly. But what's really nice is the anchor and heart together with the child. Um, so I feel that here, uh, when you are willing to give yourself the gift of happiness and you're willing to pursue things that are closer to your heart and also that give you more, um, a, a, a better sense of security, you know, feeling uh, feeling secure, feeling safe. So I, I feel, Brandberg Group, that it's really important for you not to compromise your sense of feeling good. If you feel that what you're doing is off, you know, then you need to make changes. You really need to honor that intuition and that feeling and to make changes. Now, if you're not able to make them overnight, and I'll probably, you won't be able to make them overnight, that's fine. But, you know, be clear and crisp and, and um, sharp and aware about what is not working and be willing to turn the page from there and move into a different direction. Let's move on to the columns. We've got the fox, woman, and heart. So she could be someone you work with. Uh, normally, the fox with a people card or... Um, uh, an emotion card like the heart or relationships in general is a bit tricky. Uh, it does suggest someone who is, you know, not transparent, who is not uh, particularly uh, interested in your well-being. They're more interested in themselves, you know, so there is a sense of selfishness to the fox. Maybe there are people, you know, you work with or who affect your income picture, your money picture that you're going to need to make decisions about. And we saw that in the second row, we're seeing it in the bottom row, and possibly also in the top row th through these first three cards here. So if there are people who affect you negatively, financially, Brandberg Group, then I really think this is a time when you want to look at this squarely and make some uh, decisions. I don't think these decisions are very easy, but I think they're gonna be very important for you to address and redress your financial picture. Now, the fox and woman can also represent a colleague on the job, and in this case, maybe she's supportive. You know, maybe if there's someone to you can talk to or give you ideas about your work, you know, you might want to start there. It's not a bad idea. Now, the mouse, uh, fish, and anchor, this is a very clear combination about finances and money because the fish is the card of money. When we see the mouse with the fish, we could be looking at waste. So, again, I feel that there is a sense of uh, energy being drained out uh, and this is something you're going to need to redress Brandberg Group. So 
frivolous expenses, unnecessary expenses, waste. Uh, you know, you really want to look at this squarely. Take out pen and paper and get to work on this and, uh, you know, try to create a budget. The fish and anchor is uh, very much supportive of that so that you can create boundaries around your expenses and your, your money, you know, how you spend. So I am seeing a sense of discipline and a bit more strictness about how you manage money brand bird group so that you can actually redress the picture. Now the clouds, bird and child, again, these are uh, challenges. I think the clouds and bird suggest that you're a little bit all over the place uh, with your money. Uh, that was the sense I got like just from the get go when we drew out the five by three. And I feel that uh, it's really important for you to bring things into focus, you know. So um, if you have, for example, when it comes to money, if you have like a million subscriptions, you don't need a million subscriptions, you know, you can just cut out those that you don't need. Declutter all of the stuff that you spend on here and there, you know, trim it off, uh, bring yourself into focus and uh, be on top of uh, what you're spending on. So really becoming aware of what you're spending on, where your money's going, why. This can be a really empowering uh, exercise, Brandberg Group. I, I really encourage you to, to bring yourself into focus like that. And with the child here, this can turn the page for you. So it's really important to um, let go of what isn't working so that you can move into a healthier uh, financial picture. And we read the road, uh, Lily and Snake, and that had to do with a possibly a deeper turning point when it comes to your work and career. And finally, the mountain, whip and bear. This can be a pretty challenging uh, combination, uh, Brandberg Group, because the whip next to uh, the bear and also uh, with the mountain and uh, worth mentioning that the bear and mountain have quite a bit in common as, as do the anchor. Um, they're very strong and solid, so it might take quite a bit of energy to shake out the obstacles and to break through the limitations that you're currently experiencing uh, financially. Um, I also think that you want to shake up certain foundations, so you have to go back and review what is it you've been building on. This can look like things like, uh, again, you know, some fundamental expenses that you pay on maybe the kind of lifestyle that you live, uh, if you are living beyond your means, if you are, um, you know, focused on the wrong things, you know, all of this can come into the picture and really change in a deeper way um, what you, uh, how you operate financially. And again, if there are people, places and other influences on your life that drain you and um, negatively affect you, I think this can be a time for a major shakeup, Brandberg Group. So pretty powerful uh, in this regard. Now, of course, you know, when you see challenging cars like that, it's, you know, it's a snapshot in time. It's something that you're going through. You know, when you rectify the issues, you, you have to uh, attract better prosperity in your life. You have to, it's, it's a must. But what I'm seeing in your three by five is doing a lot of work. Um, you have to review a lot how you operate with money. This isn't necessarily easy. Um, money can be a very difficult topic for some people, uh, but I want you to really be honest about this and take it easy and take it step by step and really work through your disciplines. Cut out these small expenses. Review all of your subscriptions, your little expenses here and there. Declutter your space, you know, just buy what you need. Uh, maybe sell some things, you know, and things like that. It can be a really enjoyable journey because you become more aware of what you what you're doing you know and how you're operating and how you're changing so it can be a pretty precious experience so Brandberg group before we wrap up we can look at a few more diagonals and you know the, the portrait uh kind of um structures that we have here we have three portraits three complete portraits in a three by five or a five by three and they are around the fish bird and lily and when we look at these three as the core or the center card of the three portraits it becomes clear that your expenses and your career and um, your income is very much uh, key to this. So you need better income, you need to manage your income better, and you need to straighten out uh, you know, what you spend on, you know, the little transactions here and there. 
It's also possible, Brandberg Group, that you might want to negotiate something about your money. And this is where we suggested with the corner cards that you could be looking at a promotion or seeking better income, you know, so that you can um, do better financially. Now, the two main diagonals that I like to read are the the V ones, we have one that goes up and the other that has the peak down. So the heart fish uh, and clouds and the lily and bear. This is a, a pretty important line. Uh, the fish and clouds can mean expenses and sudden expenses often enough. And the heart could be in this context, possibly something like a splurge or really wanting to spend on the things that you, you love and enjoy. The lily and bear tends to be a legal kind of a combination, so a bit of administration here. So when we take the line together, it's important, uh, Brandberg Group, that you are clear about um, your expenses and that you put a stop on the expenses that are unnecessary. If you are owed money, if you owe money, you know, debt and things like that, which could be represented by the lily and bear, I would say it's important that you work on these and that you rectify this picture as much as you can so that you can be in better control of it. And that could be a, a really important thing for you through the lily and bear. Another very beautiful combination is the fox, fish, child, uh, lily, and mountain. So this is a, a powerful confirmation of the idea that you could be in for a new job, a new career, and possibly in a different location, but also one, uh, maybe it's online as well. The mountain is a card that I take to represent the internet and online, and you could be in for a new beginning here, and it's a very powerful and probably the most hopeful uh, line in your cards. So it is a positive confirmation, Brandberg Group in uh, the back of these challenges and your effort to rectify them you are in for a new beginning and like we said it has to do with your job so a couple more diagonals before we wrap up we have the woman mouse bird uh, snake and whip uh, brandberg group this is a very powerful line and also a very clear uh, line or set of diagonals that there is a negative influence in your life that you absolutely have to remove. It seems to be associated with this woman or perhaps you represent you are represented by this woman and you need to make some serious changes. Uh, waste, negative energy, energy vampires, anyone, anything draining you, you really need to uh, grab the bull by the horns and really remove that. We've got the woman anchor, bird, road and whip. I'm getting a similar uh, confirmation here. Uh, the anchor is a card of boundaries. So something or someone needs to be put in place and it cannot you know, drain you, whether they take money from you or they waste your money or they waste your time or you know, drain you in other ways. This really needs to be taken care of because it is intimately connected with your financial security. So overall, Brandberg Group, you get a somewhat challenging reading, uh, a really um, powerful reading to get you to be honest about everything you're doing financially, really grounding you uh, with this and having you look squarely at how you're managing this. Another key theme is your income, your job. So what is it you're doing that brings you income? You might want to pursue a better job, a maybe a promotion, a better position in your work and career so that you can enhance your income. This is the second very, very important key. And the third theme is that you will need to, uh, in addition to you looking at how you're spending, you need to remove from your life or from your uh, circumstance for the time being anything negative that is draining you, that is blocking you, that is really affecting you negatively. You're going to need to deal with that in a very straightforward and strong way. So stand your ground in the face of this Brandberg group. I would say put yourself through the disciplines so that you can turn your picture around. Be willing to welcome a new job situation or a new job position so that you can enhance your income and take it from there. And don't hesitate to set healthy boundaries between you and other people or other circumstances that are affecting you negatively. So let me know how you're working through this Brandberg Group. I'm really looking forward to your thoughts. Leave me your comments. And until we meet again, as always, thank you so much for watching and take very good care of yourself.
All right, La Peace Group, let's look at your financial picture. What is ahead for you with money? We've got your beautiful stone and the deck that is always shuffled uh, between readings. So I'm, I'm going to continue with the uh, five by three reading. Uh, we are going to look at um, what is ahead for you with money through a three by five extended portrait. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, La Pisa Group, here are your cards. I'm seeing lots of beautiful messages. And again, I'm seeing the fish. This is the second reading. I see the fish in, which is really good uh, for it to align with the question and the focus and theme of the reading. It is the card of money. And in your reading, it figures in the corner card. So in this pair, we also have the beautiful star, the beautiful key, the beautiful flowers right in the middle, and the beautiful sun, and also the tree. So in general, we're looking at a very beautiful uh, set of cards for you when it comes to money. There aren't challenging cards. There aren't that many. Maybe the coffin and bird can be considered challenging, but in this combination, it is not necessarily so. And so overall, we're looking at a very bright picture for you financially. So before we get into the details of these cards, let's draw some general indications from the corner cards and the central card. We've got the book and ring at your first set of corner cards. The book and ring is a special combination that points to a proposal or a contract. So it's very clear to me, just looking at this, that you're in for either a new job or a new uh, financial engagement. Maybe it's a new customer, maybe it's a business thing. It depends on how you make money, but the proposal, the contract is ahead for you and that is probably going to be really beneficial for you for your money. We also have the bird and fish as your corner cards. As it stands, just these two by themselves, it can point to, they can point to financial transactions, uh, little transactions here and there, little expenses or purchases here and there. Maybe you are looking at some uh, financial uh, commitments. We could be looking at a few expenses here and there, a uh, lapis piece group that you might want to trim. But I think that in terms of the other uh, or the first uh, pair of corner cards, this can mean some financial negotiations. You know, if we took the uh, cards with the bird and book and also the fish and ring, because we can tie the cards in these ways as well, then we are looking at some financial negotiations when it comes to a contract that you're in for. So this is by itself, I feel really positive. But on top of that, we have the beautiful flowers in the middle of your five by three. The flowers is a very bright card. It is an all around card of optimism and abundance. And we can look forward to some very positive events for you. It is also a card of fruitfulness and reward. It is associated with spring and abundance. So you could be looking forward to a lot of money coming in or maybe just getting, reaping the rewards of your efforts. And when we use this card in the context of the corner cards, then it is all the more reassuring that this proposal or this contract or this financial opportunity is going to be uh, rewarding for you. And of course, we have other messages as well. So some very pretty cards as it stands, Lapis Group. Let us now get into the details of the rows and columns. Now, the book stork, sun, anchor, and fish. This is a beautiful combination for financial success. Uh, from the stork and book, we could be looking at some kind of revelation or there is um, some information that comes through. But I also think that because of the book and ring, this is the opportunity that comes about. So there, this is an event. Um, there is an opportunity. There is a proposal. And with the sun, anchor and fish, it is very positive for you financially. Um, so very strong cards when it comes to your money. In the second row, we have the coffin, garden, and then the flowers, dog, and star. I really feel, Lapis Group, that this can be um, something to do with your customer base or your community where you work or where you offer your service. And the thing about the coffin is that it's possible that you had been maybe going through a phase where not much was happening or maybe you still didn't come out into the marketplace that you want to sell to or operate in. And uh, we see here that with the garden flowers and dog, you can really attract quite a lot of customers or quite a lot of attention um, to your product or service. 
or other things that you do that help you uh, make income. And the star here is a very beautiful card. It is the wish fulfillment card of the deck. And when we see it in this line, then I think you're going to do really well. Um, another message that we can draw out of this line, that piece group, is that it's time to get out of your shell. So don't hold back from sharing what you do, from selling your product, your service, from networking with potential customers or with others that can um, enhance your financial picture. This is a very positive message and you are going to do really well. People appreciate what you're offering. You're probably going to get some really good feedback, some really nice compliments about um, your work, your service, your product, or even just your participation if this is a job or you know whichever way you operate to make money. So very beautiful. I would also bring the focus on creativity. So the flowers is a card of creativity along with the moon and child. And we see it, it's right in the middle of your five by three. So really focus on your unique uh, abilities, your unique approach to doing things. And, um, you know, don't, don't hold back, you know, don't be shy, go out and share this unique aspect and it will attract abundance to you. Very beautiful, very beautiful. And the bottom row, we've got the bird tree and then the house and key and ring. Now the house and key um, is a combination of, uh, real estate investments and because we're reading about money this may well be something that you focus on as well the tree and key is even though they're not really adjacent they're not immediately adjacent they can represent achieving a very important goal and with the house between them you could be doing something with property or some other kind of physical asset that really brings you a lot of support uh, for your financial picture overall. Uh, the bird and tree is a combination of growth, learning, um, and it can point to um, asking questions or seeking answers, you know, like gathering information so that you have a balanced picture on what you need to do. And the ring is a card of commitments and involvements. And so when I take this line overall, with this focus on property, which is the middle card through the house, then you could be looking at making a purchase, selling, investing yourself in some kind of property or physical asset. But the key to this is really to ask the right questions and to make sure you know what you're doing. Um, I would say prepare for this to be a longer term investment because of the ring. But if you are making the right investment, then it should bear fruit. So that is also something you could be looking at uh, for your uh, financial health. Now, if this isn't about property at all, then the house can point to your job, your work, your team on the job. It can also point to your, your business, especially if it's home-based business, and possibly your community, but on a smaller scale uh, than the garden. And in, in, any, in any of these contexts, you are also doing really well. You're looking at growth, building a solid foundation, finding the right solutions, and sharing as um, sharing your work again, you know, through the bird communication and um, and reaping the rewards of that. The tree and house are slower cards. So again, it is about the longer term and making sure you're building something solid and uh, also not expecting the rewards to come in so quickly, although honestly, because of everything else in your three by five or five by three, you are you know, doing pretty well and you can look forward to that uh, pretty soon. Uh, focus on solutions, maintain optimism and be willing to commit and to also maintain the disciplines that are bringing you this prosperity. We see this really through the ring, a uh, house and tree. So very, very beautiful cards in any context for your money. Let's now move on to the columns. We've got the book, coffin, and bird. So this is, uh, if we're going to see it as challenging, this would be uh, the more challenging line of your whole spread. And it's really not all that challenging. What it is telling us is that um, there has been a phase of silence, of inactivity, of you know a time when nothing much was happening. And the book is a card of mysteries, you know, it tends to be closed and the bird is the card of, uh, it's the opposite, it's the card of speaking out, it's a vocal card and a communication card. But because of the coffin, it's pretty clear that information was uh, held off, um, you had no news of what was happening, or maybe 
things weren't active, there wasn't much going on. And on top of that, this column here is on the left hand side of the five by three, which is associated with the earlier um, parts of the story. So you go through a phase of dormancy or inactivity, and then there is a lot of activity and positive change that brings a lot of prosperity and abundance to you. So it's really just about getting through this phase. But I would also say, Lapis, it's possible that you might want to wait for the right time to uh, bring your uh, product to and, and service to the table, to the community, or until you reap uh, the rewards uh, of your effort. So that's what could come through here. So a bit of patience is required. The stork garden and tree is beautiful any way you look at this. And this is about growth and also anchoring yourself in a community and building on there. So it's important that you find the right space and uh, that you are, um, that you feel that you're part of the right environment and that you grow within this environment. Make changes as needed, um, be willing to grow, be willing to learn and also be active and proactive. So really uh, being part of this, playing ball, being a good um, team player and also uh, being really being part of this community. So don't shy out, you know, just get out there and be part of it. The sun, flowers and house is lovely for abundance, for fruitfulness, reaping the rewards of your effort. And it is also really good on the home front with home and family, close friends, and um, also the team on the job. So any groups that you are closer to. Uh, I think you are really appreciated for what you do and um, you, you receive compliments or honors in this regard. Um, it is also a combination of comfort, luxury, you know, feeling good, feeling at ease and feeling secure. So very, very beautiful messages for your money. The anchor, dog and key is also a lovely combination. You have supportive friends, uh, supportive people around you. This can be your customer base. And when we look at it with the garden, flowers, and dog, it is very beautiful in the sense that you are surrounded by lovely people. They support you. Um, you know, you give to them. They give back. It's really a beautiful uh, alchemy of, of collaboration here, what we're seeing. Finally, in the right-hand side column, we have a wish fulfillment combination for your money. Honestly, Lapis, I don't think it gets better than the fish and star. And on top of that, it is surrounded by uh, positive cards. I would say these positive cards really protect the power of this combination. The fish and star is all around abundance and goal achievement and wish fulfillment when it comes to your money. So I really think that piece group, this is one of the best readings for money. And you can look forward to seeing uh, your material success, uh, your wishes materializing, more income, abundance, and all around, all around achievement when it comes to your money. We have the ring here, so this can take on a number of possibilities for you. Perhaps there is a specific relationship that helps you achieve that. Perhaps it's a business partnership, or perhaps it's the contract that we talked about earlier that brings in this money, or other sorts of commitments, depending on exactly what you do uh, for that. But anyway, you look at these cards, they are very, very beautiful for money. This is wonderful messages of success and abundance, just really across the board. It's really just a bit of patience at the outset and waiting for the right time or waiting maybe for some things to turn around. But once you're through this, um, you know, small phase of mystery, I'm not, I don't think it's a very long phase. You know, we see all of this abundance like sort of flowing through into your life, into uh, your work and business and your financial affairs. Through the three central cards, there seems to be a focus on customers or colleagues or other people that are within this financial picture for you, whether um, you have a business or a job or, you know, depending on exactly what you do. But you can look forward to more customers, more support and, you know, more connections with uh, wonderful people who bring you uh, the sense of prosperity. So very, very beautiful cards. We can look at a few more diagonals that piece group before we close the reading. We've got the bird, garden, sun, uh, dog and ring. Uh, this is lovely you know this is again this idea of a, of a community i would say with the bird and uh, garden do uh, put in some effort for marketing 
uh, you know, put yourself out there, reach out, get in touch, make contact, make connections. Uh, usually the dog and ring points to a romantic relationship coming out of a friendship. But I feel in this context, it can take on other meanings. I think this is really about finding collaborations, reaching out to your customers, reaching out to uh, partners and other people in your work environment or in your financial environment that bring a lot of support and you'll find that you have uh, support and you have loyal you have loyal uh, people around you and really they help you bring this um, beautiful picture together we also have the book garden house into the dog and fish and i have to say lapis group that from this combination maybe you teach something or maybe you publish or you produce creative work and this works well with the flowers that is right in the middle here. So I really feel that you can look forward to, you know, more customers coming in for this or uh, greater appeal from others, uh, you know, to your work, to your creative work. So certainly look at how you can contribute in this way because it can attract more customers and it can bring in uh, more money. Two more diagonals, we've got the coffin tree, flowers, anchor, and star. So again, I feel this is the patience element coming through. So really waiting uh, for things to turn around and they are gonna uh, bring in a lot of wish fulfillment and success. And then the other one is somewhat similar because of the coffin uh, stork, uh, flowers, key, and star. So again, after a period of waiting or things were on hold, there is like a turnaround and things come back into play and bring you lots of abundance and lots of activity and fruitfulness as well. Wish fulfillment uh, also because of this star. So overall, that piece, I mean, this is just a beautiful reading for your money, your finances. Uh, creativity is going to uh, deliver a lot of rewards networking, reaching out to others, you know, being out there is, is really key uh, for you. These are the three central cards um, within the outer frame of your five by three. So really focus on your people, really focus on the people who benefit from your work or your service and uh, put them at the center of everything. And you will find that you reap a lot of rewards and rewards are in the cards for you. You're in for wish fulfillment, abundance, luxury, possibly real estate, successful real estate transactions. It is really powerful and abundant for you. Now, peace. I, I really, this is a beautiful spread. So very beautiful messages for you here. So let me know how you like this. Let me know how you feel about these cards. I'm looking forward to your comments. Uh, very best of luck with this process of marketing and putting yourself out there and attracting all of these wonderful people. Do let me know how it goes. Until we meet again, thank you as always, let peace. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, Cat's Eye Group, let's get into your reading. What is ahead for you financially, with money, with prosperity? And we've got your stone with us here and the deck. Always shuffled between readings, so I'm ready to deal out your uh, three by five or five by three extended portrait. Okay, cat's eye group, here is your set of cards for this reading. And I have to say, there is a challenging phase and there seems to be a relationship involved with this. Like it's very clear from this, but there is your, uh, a strong potential for you to achieve some very important goal. And I think the goal is really to overcome certain obstacles when it comes to money. We also have the fish in your cards. This is the third time I get the fish in readings for this question, which is really good because it attests to the alignment of the cards with the theme and the question. So Cat's Eye Group, I'm really seeing the relationship element coming very strongly in this situation for you. We have the woman, the man, and the dog. We have the heart. So the idea of um, there being a relationship that could be an obstacle for you financially is coming very clearly through the cards. And I have to say that the central column is very key for that. We have the man, bird, and snake. And this clearly points to having to move away from someone who is toxic. Uh, there could be a fallout in communication here, and it might actually be the best way to move forward because this person could be in the way of your financial prosperity. And this guy is, you know, bringing trouble. So this is something that's going to have to be rectified. Now, before we read the other columns and the rows, let's first get a, an overview through the corner cards and the central card. 
we have the woman and whip as the corner cards and this is clearly a conflict with a person with this woman we also have the key and the tower on the other set of corner cards and this is a much brighter combination what's interesting about these two cards is that both of them have a spiritual aspect and the third one being the cross and possibly also the clover, sometimes also the tree. There is a sense of spiritual guidance here. So in the face of the obstacles, maybe you're not so sure what to do, but you really have to go with your inner knowledge, your intuition, and also trust life to guide you in the right way. I do feel this is going to be needed for you in the face of challenges, Cat's Eye Group, and specifically in the face of the challenges with this relationship. In the center of your extended portrait, we have the bird. The bird is a card that causes anxiety and tension. And certainly with the mouse, snake, and clouds nearby, this aspect is coming through. We also have the whip, not too far from it, actually to in a night away from uh, the whip. In fact, the bird is knighted to all four corner cards. Um, and so it's very clear that this challenging aspect of the bird can come through. It's clear that there are tensions and anxiety and issues here that need to be dealt with. The bird can also represent communication and conversation. So there is going to be a need to talk about these things. There's going to be a need to bring things out into the open. And I think this can um, be part of the conflict, the idea that there's a conversation that is tough. But honestly, because the bird is in the center of everything, Cat's Eye Group, I feel that you're going to have to um, have this conversation, okay? Uh, what is nice is that when we look at the bird as it knights to the key and the tower, you could be on the way to a solution. And in fact, when we look at this column here, we have the key and tree. And the key and tree is a very beautiful and powerful combination that points to achieving a very important goal. And we see that this goal has to do with overcoming challenges. So this is a tough phase for you, Cat's Eye Group, in terms of your finances and the issues that are affecting your finances, specifically this relationship. But it is in your card that you are going to resolve them. So the way I take away this reading as a, like a, a general in a general way, you are going to have to resolve certain issues with someone in order to move forward with your finances. So let's get into the lines and columns now. At the top row, we have the woman, bear, and man, and the dog and key. Honestly, I think this can point to family. The mother and father can be represented by the man and woman, and specifically, the bear is associated with the mother or parents. Uh, the bear is a card of superiors, managers, people in authority. And when we see it right next to uh, the woman and the man, it can really bring out parents into the picture. And the dog can represent the kids. Now with the key here, there is some positive developments on the family front or within with these people. So it is about finding solutions with others, uh, with family, with your parents, or perhaps it's your own family. And that is really an important factor for you when it comes to money. It is possible that the bear represents other people, uh, with the man and woman and the dog, possibly on the job, uh, or like I said, your own family, or more broadly, you know, just other people. But really, because of the structure of the line, I think the idea of family is really well highlighted, uh, parents or your own family, and um, also the idea of people at work. Um, this is in general a, a bright line. These cards, these first four cards, tend to be neutral. It's really the key that brings out the positive element uh, through here. So it's very important to collaborate with others, to focus on the other people in your financial picture, Cat's Eye Group, if you wanna improve this. And we see that you will, you know, so there is a solution at hand, but the key here is that the solution lies in uh, your relationships with these people. In the second row, we have the heart and road and the bird clouds and tree. So it's really these three central cards that bring out what the sign is about. And, and these are the three central cards of the whole uh, portrait. So there seems to have been a disagreement and people are not on the same page. You don't agree on the same path forward. And there could be some emotional issues or some heartache here, some disappointments. 
um, but also through the bird and clouds, there could have been a difficult conversation or some tough things that were said. What is nice is the tree at the end of the line that is also with the key in the column. So what we're seeing here is that there are disagreements, there are uh, partings, there are people who are not on the same page, there is conflict. But the thing about the tree is that it tells you to work through these conflicts. So don't give up on these relationships. Don't give up on finding a solution. And also, this conflict is probably needed and necessary to bring out the issues out into the open so that you can solve them. The tree here really asks you to be contemplative and try to find your wisdom and your ground and to possibly compromise, negotiate, certainly with the, with the bird in here, and to allow things to unfold and to give some things some time so that you can find a solution to these differences. And these differences affect your money. Again, they can be on the job and they can be with family. In the bottom row, we have the tower, mouse and snake, fish and whip. So this is your most challenging line, cat's eye group. We have mouse, snake and whip challenging cards right next to the fish we also have the clouds on top of the fish so clearly you're experiencing some financial troubles cat's eye group uh, you have issues with uh, your money in different ways and prosperity broadly speaking and uh, likely also not just with money but also in other material ways now the thing about the tower is that it brings your focus on the long term. So it's really important at this stage that you check in with what you are building on the long term for your long term future. I think that you could be overspending, you could be wasting, uh, or perhaps some things are out of your control, probably affects family. Um, or your, these people in your environment. So it's very important to redress this cat's eye group. It's very important to stop overspending, to keep the long-term picture in mind. And I would also say things like waste or unexpected expenses and things like that, they need to come under control. So this is definitely a line that is asking you to stop the bleeding, stop spending, stop wasting, and also to move away from situations that are draining your money. And I think this involves these people here. So it's very important that, you know, everyone is on board and that is what this conversation and this conflict management is about so that all of you have like a healthy uh, path forward uh, to enhance your financial picture. So this can be a bit of a tough line, but it really brings your focus on the long term. It is also possible that the tower can refer to your roots or your family. And again, we have this element of family that comes into play. There can be some troubles here, uh, but I think that you're gonna have to take some losses, Cat's Eye Group, before you move forward into solutions. So be patient with that. It's a bit of a tough transition and a tough bottleneck. Let's move on to the columns and keep building this picture. We have the woman, heart, and tower. So this is a strong, supportive relationship. And, uh, it is likely with this woman here, um, but again, like we saw with the whip, there are some conflicts that come into play. So this is one of the relationships that's going to come into the picture for you to focus on in order to resolve uh, the issues. Um, the bear, road, and mouse. We could be looking at a major change happening for you, uh, cat's eye group, or the need to release something in your life that is preventing you from moving forward to attract more prosperity. I don't think this is very easy. Um, I think you're gonna need to be ready to let go and to make deeper changes before the picture can turn around. It's also possible that this involves a person. Uh, the bear is usually someone um, who can either represent someone in authority, but also with challenging cards, the bear can represent someone who is a little bit overbearing, uh, they can represent competition, you know, someone who's just like really up against you. And I, I'm feeling here for you, Cat's Eye Group, I'm feeling a sense of uh, oppression. I'm feeling that you're feeling stifled and like there's a lot of weight on your shoulders. And I think you need to get this weight off your shoulders. So it's gonna be probably blowing things out of the water, really having that tough conversation um, or releasing people, you know, making, changes and restructurings in your family environment or your work environment. 
in order to turn this picture around. And we have the man, bird, and snake, and we read that earlier, and we said that there is a fallout here. Uh, we also see it in this uh, large uh, pair of diagonals here, tower, road, man, and then clouds and whip. So I feel that at this point, you're getting sick and tired of some people who are really draining you, and you've been patient with this, and at this point, you really have to blow things out of the water and really you know, talk about what is wrong here because it just can't continue like that cat's eye group. And then the dog, clouds, and fish is also possibly expenses in relation to family. So the clouds and fish is typically about expenses and money spent and usually unexpectedly or more than you expected. And the dog here can point to your children or to other people, uh, younger people possibly in your environment that are an expense. So you also want to look at you know, how your kids are spending or who you're spending on. It can also represent, I have to say, employees if you're in business for yourself. Um, you know, you could be reviewing who's doing what and why and maybe trim some, uh, you know, some employees, I have to say. Um, it is also possible that on the job, you know, the there are cuts and, and, uh, and things like that or there are expenses that are putting a strain on the budget and that could be affecting your income in other ways. But like we said, you've got the last column here and it's really nice to see it on the left hand, sorry, the right hand side because the earlier parts of the reading are on the on the right. And so we see the unfolding of the challenges here into a solution despite the whip. So this is very much about solving problems, cat's eye group. You have to deal with the issues first before you can bring in a solution. And really the focus for you is to solve uh, the issues. The issues are very much um, around people in your life. And this can take on a number of formats depending on your specific circumstance. It can be family, you know, the family money, family expenses, how your family spends. It can be people on the job, you know, what's happening with bosses and, and employees and restructurings and things like that. And it can also happen in your business where you're looking at, you know, who's doing what for you, uh, you know, what, what is all of that costing you and what you should do about it. Possibly also customers, uh, you know, uh, as represented by the dog. Maybe you're having issues with some customers or you're having issues growing your customer base. Uh, it's really very important to look at this and to have the right conversations with the right people. Focus on the solution and, um, you know, be patient as you transition through that. I have to say, Cat's Eye Group, this is a, a tougher reading. And so far, I've had uh, two tough readings, you know, asking uh, you to really look squarely at the situation. Honesty is the best policy. And also setting boundaries and being honest about what is wasteful what is unhelpful uh, in order to redress it. See if you can uh, remove some expenses, um, put, set some boundaries, you know, have conversations about who's spending what and why, and uh, also clarify certain matters in order to get a better picture here. So it's a bit of a tough transition until you find a solution, but I am seeing this uh, phase or, or transition of getting things out into the open as a necessary step in order to solve your problems. We do have a powerful combination here, I have to insist. I love to see the key and tree together. It is one of the brightest pairs for me. It resonates really deeply with me and it is a beautiful combination for success and achievement. It's just that there are um, obstacles that you need to work through and people that you need to work through in order to get there. So this is what your focus is. Uh, in the next phase to um, uh, money-wise and to enhance your financial picture. Work through this. Don't back down. Don't back out. Um, and be patient through it and you will find a solution. So let me know how these issues are figuring in your life, Cat's Eye Group. I'm really interested to know uh, what this is about for you. And uh, very best of luck with this, with these conversations, with working with others for this. Let me know how it plays out. And until we meet again, thank you so much for watching and take very good care of yourself. Okay, Opalite group, let's get into your reading. What is ahead for you financially? We've got your lovely stone and I've got the deck, Titania's Fortune cards, and it is always shuffled between readings. Just a little bit of shuffling to refocus and let us see what is ahead for you financially. 
Okay, Opalite group, here are your cards uh, for this focus on what is ahead for you financially. And I have to say, Opalite group, just looking at these cards with an overview, I feel there is a lot that is going on for you um, and that there are opportunities and solutions ahead, but there seems to be a phase of unknowns and mysteries that are ahead for you. It's really the bottom row that attracts the attention most to me. There can be a very important phase that you're in. I'm thinking something like life-changing that's going to uh, uh, change the picture for you financially and in your life as a whole. So we'll get to this in a bit, but first let's get an overview of what is going on for you by looking at the corner cards and the central card. So the first card, Opalite group, is the coffin. And the coffin is a card of endings. In this pair of corner cards, we see it with the woman. Uh, this can be someone who has been away, someone who has been absent for some time. And I feel it's more about an absence than an ending because in the column where the woman figures, we have the flowers, key, and herself. So the flowers is a card of renewal and things coming back into the picture. So there can be a time when she was away and now she is back into the picture. Now, what that does for you specifically for your finances is going to depend on your specifics. She either comes with an opportunity, maybe she's a major customer, maybe she offers support in a, a more general way or solutions in a more general way, especially with the key, or she enables you to open up a door uh, that you can walk through into more prosperity. So she can take on uh, any number of people in your life, depending on your specifics. The other pair is a beautiful pair. It's the bear and flowers. The flowers is a card of all around optimism and success and abundance. And with the bear, we could be looking at plenty. You are going to have plenty Opalite group. And I know that it doesn't appear so from your cards because there's a few challenges here or some unknowns that come into play, but still the flowers is in your last column. It's accompanied by the key. And this pair of corner cards is very supportive. The book is right in the middle of your three by five. And the book is really a card of mystery and of things unknown. And it is possible, a very likely Opalite group, that you're going to go through a phase when you're not so sure how things are going to play out and you are going to need to bear with it, uh, especially since we have the coffin as your first card. So there is a period of things being unknown and having to navigate through some uncertainties. I'm also picking up the idea of education and we see this through the second row with the book and tower in this diagonal with the book and lily. Possibly the book and child and the book and house also can support that. It can be Opalite group that you need to acquire more knowledge or delve into some kind of field in order to improve your finances. Maybe you're looking at a new specialty. Maybe you're looking at upskilling uh, and also learning or gaining more experience in some area so that you can do better financially. That is strongly, strongly possible. It's also possible, Opalite group, that some of you teach or publish books or do research, you know, or perhaps you, you're focusing on these areas as a new source of income, an additional source of income or for your current uh, business or work. In terms of strict finances, the book is also associated with things like bookkeeping, taxes, budgeting, and things like that. So I would say it never hurts Opalite Group to focus on how you're spending, where you're spending, and to straighten up a little bit the picture. So take some time to get a sense of where you're at financially, you know, gathering your numbers, looking at your expenses, your income, and putting it all together so that you have a clearer picture of what's going on with you. So a very supportive message in terms of practical day-to-day -day advice. So with this said, let's now get into the lines and columns and draw all of these interesting combinations together. In the top row Opalite group, I am seeing the idea of the job. We have the Lily and Fox, this very much brings into the picture your work. We have the coffin and mouse on either side and then the flowers at the end. So it's possible, Opalite group, that maybe you lost a job or you've been out of a job for a while. It's been a tough time for all of us through these COVID years. So it's possible that, you know, you are dealing with that or you had to deal with that. 
but it's really nice to see the flowers at the end of the line because it is a card of recovery so you're likely to find a new job or to regain your job or to regain a sense of security within your work environment in a broader sense you could be making deeper changes maybe deeper changes like career changes and this is where the education piece can come in maybe you're looking at changing your field altogether and um, going into a new one you know there's been a lot of these changes with the um you know with the, with the COVID and all of that people you know are moving jobs are getting a different sense of what it means to work and all of that has been really um in the picture uh, strongly for a lot of people so maybe you're one of them uh, and at this point you're looking at you know reshaping a little bit what you do in order to create a new sense of abundance and a new purpose i would say in your life and i have to say that this ties in nicely with the bottom row because a life change like a deeper life change is really possible um we're going to see them in these two columns so pretty exciting turning point for you apply group moving on to the second line we have the road tower book and then the clouds and key so the book clouds and key is a problem solving combination this is about brainstorming researching really getting deeply into the information and the knowledge and the road and tower along with the book can be that you are uh, on a path that is unknown again the book brings you know that mystery element into the cards and it, it can also mean that you are moving past a phase and that you've been going through a phase of uncertainty and at this point you really want to figure out what is going on so this i feel is a deeper message for your life opalite group this is really about well where is all this heading what am I doing with my life? What is working? What isn't working? And getting a good sense of this picture. And in a more like practical day-to-day -day approach, the book, like we said, is about budgeting and things like that. And with the clouds in the context of money, this can be about your expenses and unknowns and things like that. So you might want to get a good sense again of you know, how you've been spending over this phase and how you want the picture to look like. What are you going to do to cut expenses, make more money, like really getting into the details of this. And like we said earlier, the tower and book can point to education, usually higher education, like university and that level. And with the road and clouds and key, you're thinking about maybe reskilling or a new branch of knowledge uh, that you get into. And thinking about what you want to do. So I think this can tie into your passions a little bit more or your curiosities or your interests. And at this point, you could be thinking about, well, could more education, more experience or a different kind of um, knowledge base can help you move forward with your finances. So all of these are interesting things you're going to figure out for yourself. But again, Opalite Group, I am getting a sense of... Um, you know, like a deeper life change, a deeper, um, deeper thinking about what your life is going to be about moving forward. You are rethinking a lot of things, you know, and on this note, I have to say that 2022 has been, uh, is going to be a challenging year for many of us because a lot of things are going to be shaken up, but this is for a good reason, because it's going to help us focus on the essentials in our life. And if you haven't watched your annual readings and you're not tuning into your monthly and mid-month readings, then I strongly encourage you to do that because, you know, these are questions that are, are going to be salient for us this year. So take advantage of this and, you know, work through these messages so that you can live your best life, basically, and make really positive changes for yourself. Now the bottom row, very interesting bottom row. We've got the bear, child and mountain. So it's really the child and mountain that is a key combination here. This points to a beginning and a new chapter whose importance is not yet seen. And this works really well with the mystery card that we have for you here, the book. And on top of that, we have the bear. So this can be really significant because the bear makes everything big and important. So you could be in for a major change, a very important chapter this year, Opalite Group. On the other side, we have the woman and the house next to each other. So she can be family, a mother, a sister, or maybe a colleague in a different location. But in all cases, this is someone who supports you making that important change. And she ties back into this lovely column here, 
where we said that she comes back into the picture with solutions. So clearly, Opalite Group, you are in for some kind of breakthrough, but it sort of it sort of unfolds. It's not like it happens suddenly. There is an element of uncertainty and then an element of opening and breakthroughs and solutions. So for a while here, you're digging into, you know, what is going on on a basic level, like where you're spending, where, where is going what. And then on another level, it's about bigger solutions and bigger changes in your life that are going to put you on a path, uh, on a different path and a significant, important path. The, um, the house is typically associated with property when it comes to money, especially with the key. I don't know how salient this can be for your specifics, but I can put it out there um, as a possibility. It's not a key thing in your reading uh, or a key opportunity to improve your finances, but it could be in there for some of you. Let's move on to the columns. These two very interesting columns here. We have an ending, we have a beginning, we have the tower, a lily, road, and bear. These are cards that affect your life in a bigger, deeper, and more significant way. So when we look at the coffin, road, and bear, clearly this is about an ending. A major chapter is ending for you and a major chapter is beginning for you. Um, the Lily Tower is definitely a combination of the long-term view for you, Opalite Group. So there is no two ways around this. This is a significant turning point for you and it's gonna affect your prosperity and your money matters in a, in a different way. I also think that it involves your career. We talked about the job in the top row. We have the Lily with the tower. We said the tower and book can affect your education. So for you, Opalite Group, this isn't just about money. This is about a life change that's going to affect how you make money. Um, that's going to affect how you manage it, how you deal with it. This is a significant life change. You could be looking at a major career change. This can be really exciting. And that's why I think you've got these three cards in the middle of your three by five, because this is a big decision. You really need to, you really need to delve into the implications of this. You really need to figure out what you're going to do next, because that's it. You're going to do it. You're going to make a really big change. Let's move on to the central column. We have the Fox book and mountain, a curious set of cards here, a curious triplet, a lot of mysteries and unknowns. The book with the mountain can certainly mean that something is out of um, out of sight, out of reach, out of uh, understanding. And with a fox here, you're going to need to be really clever uh, to to dig out the information. It certainly works well with what we see here, and you know we see this as a the central cross, the inner cross with the inner diamond. So this is really about digging out the information. I would also say, Opalite Group, that with the fox and book and with the fox and mouse, there can be things like misinformation, lies, things that are not transparent. So be sure you dig out all of this information and you don't take things at face value. You have quite a bit of homework to do. The mouse, clouds, and house can bring up issues on the home front. Maybe this is with family, with friends. Maybe this is the team on the job. There are issues that are coming up, okay? And these are sort of making you think about how fitting the current situation is. And this is probably what you're rethinking as well. But you know what? Even though the mouse and clouds are somewhat challenging, I don't feel they affect you. I feel that you have a, a sort of a, like you're away, you're observing this like a spectator. I think you have a lot of advantage with your attitude here. You're looking at the big picture. You have that vantage point of the bird's eye. You're reconsidering where all of this is leading. And so you're able to put these things into perspective, but you're also smart to take these as like um, input into how you're analyzing your situation. So I feel that you're really on top of this. And I feel that you are aware that you are going through a discovery process that is gonna make changes for you in a deep way. So some, I would say, yes, this is like a challenging triplet, but in the context of everything else that's going on, I feel that you have 
like a lot of awareness and intelligence and you are on top of the thinking process through this. So really nice. On a more day-to-day -day level, the mouse, clouds and house can suggest things going on in your home in terms of expenses. It can, by the way, be literal things like things breaking down in your home, needing to do repairs and all of that. And that can affect, uh, you know, the pocketbook. But it is also about your life and your lifestyle and how you spend and how you live and how you organize and manage your life. So it's definitely a good time and an opportunity to revisit, you know, some of your expenses, you know, some of your, um, you know, lifestyle habits and things like that, that can help you with your finances. And like we talked about a few times already, this is a woman who helps you break through with solutions and prosperity and uh, rewards for all of your effort here. She is someone supportive. She could be bringing the opportunity itself or perhaps gives you insight towards that. So Opalite Group, this is quite a powerful turning point. This is not just about money for you. There is more to the picture. This is a deeper life change, a bigger chapter. You could be reskilling, changing careers, getting a new education, um, you know, making changes like that in a really big way. And that is what's going to have an impact on your finances down the line. You could be looking at a complete career change, complete different way of doing things moving forward. And I feel this is really, really exciting, but it's also, it's also a really big deal. Uh, so this is going to be about really figuring out what you want to do and doing it. Um, it's very important that you do the research well. It's very important that you understand that not all of the information is correct and that you be aware of what the issues are on the home front and probably in other environments as well so that you have a good picture of how you're going to move forward. And then you have someone supportive who comes into the picture to open more doors for you. So a powerful, powerful transition. This is not a day-to-day, -day, everyday reading by any stretch. We can add, uh, get some more insights from some diagonals in here. Let's look at the bear tower, fox, clouds, and woman. I feel this really refers to the job. Uh, the, the bear and tower is very much about management and authority, especially with the fox, which is the kind of work and the job. With the clouds and woman, she could be uh, a boss or someone in authority or um, someone who is at that level who brings you solutions because we saw what she is with the key. The thing about the clause is that it's a bit challenging. So this can be about talking things out with her or having her help you with a better opportunity, you know, to have her give you her back, you know, her support. And I think this can be well aligned for you. But I want to say that if she is someone in authority, it's really important that you respect the position here, that you respect the chain of command, and also that you approach this carefully. You know, the clouds can be a bit of a challenging card. And so the fox here advises you to, um, you know, to be diplomatic and careful and all of that. When I'm looking at the clouds in the context of the house and mouse, maybe on the job there are some issues and what you can do is bring solutions. And so what this will help uh, with is to put you under a really good light that can lead to a promotion, for example. That's a scenario. But you know what I'm thinking, right? Thinking along those lines, contributing, bringing solutions, brainstorming solutions directly for your finances, but also on the broader environment that's going to attract more uh, money through empowerment and promotions and things like that. So an interesting line. The other uh, set of diagonals is the coffin tower mountain into the clouds and flowers. So in here, Opalite Group, we are seeing this chapter thing happening, this life chapter thing happening. The tower and mountain can refer to the deep past. And with the coffin, this can point to a phase in that past. So really, we're seeing that you're looking at a chunk of your life that is about to change. And then with the clouds, you know, the thinking, the, the creativity, especially with the flowers, this is a turning point for you. This is really a, a, a life change. You know, I have, you know, I can't dismiss that. It is so in my face. You know, there, there is this major phase that is ending and a new productive phase that is coming in. So it's mysterious. It's exciting. It is 
you know, it has a lot of unknowns and needs a lot of delving into, but hey, this is what is going on for you. What can I say? And then we have the Road Lily book, House and Key. Here we go. More life changes with the book, um, sorry, with the Road and Lily. And then the book, which leads to um, like an unknown, mysterious turning point. Uh, but again, uh, the book and Lily can point to knowledge and education. And uh, you could be looking at a new phase in that sense. Uh, the house and key can take on a number of possibilities here. Like we said, the idea of property can come into play for you if that's what you're into. Uh, but it can also point to this idea of education because the book and house can point to something like a classroom, learning, you know, like a learning environment. And with the key, um, this is a breakthrough and success. So again, there is this possibility of learning and experiencing something different. I may be acquiring a skill through practicing uh, with someone here. I'm, you know, I'm getting, um, I'm getting a sense of the craft, you know, when you learn under someone's hand, when you practice with someone, when you see how they do things. It might be that this is what you're doing, where you need to learn a skill or to get the hang of something from someone else. And this helps you turn around your skill set, your knowledge, you know, the, the profile that you are, that's going to bring you more uh, prosperity down the, line, down the line through a different job, through a new career, and, and so on. Very exciting changes for you. And we have the road, child, and book. Here we go. More indications of a life change. It's really the cards around this portrait, isn't it? You know, this tower uh, in the middle here. We're seeing all of these combinations around your life path, the long term, the future, and the past. And, you know, this idea of time. This is not for the short term. This is definitely not for the short term. This is a long term, big change happening for you. Book mouse here, again, uh, misinformation or knowledge issues or knowledge gaps with the key, you're able to solve them. So breakthroughs and new chapters, child and book, new openings, any way you look at these cards, Opalite group, this is a big deal, big deal. You know, lots of things happening for you. Very exciting though, very exciting. So Opalite group, your reading turns out not to be that much about money. It's more like on the lot on the on the way to that the things you the, the bigger things that affect that this is about your career this is about your life this is about your specialization in your work and your business uh, or whatever it is you do this is a life change yeah so that's you know that's what your cards are are bringing to to the picture it is these changes that are going to affect uh your uh finances down the line this is deeper than just finances for you very interesting let me know how you like these thoughts. Let me know what this is doing for you, Opalite Group. I'm really looking forward to your thoughts, your comments. Uh, leave me a few notes below. And until we meet again, very best of luck with this, whatever this huge thing is happening for you. Let me know. Do let me know. Thank you so much for watching, Opalite Group. Until next time, take very good care of yourself. Mm -hmm.